So today we are going to learn how to do a SRAM backup on this new control. So today we're working on a Doosan HC400. Most of the new Doosans that ship today, uh, this is uh, mid-2020, they come uh, with this i-series plus. And the i-series plus is more or less the same thing, except it has a few tweaks, some of which have a bit of a learning curve. In the olden days, you guys were more familiar with a mill that looked like this. So it's the older style. It has the, the traditional button layout. And uh, I have a video on how to do an SRM backup on that one, but we're gonna talk about this one today. So after screwing around with it for a little while, I found a little line in a FANUC manual that said that you can press instead of the old way, is to press these two buttons on, on that style control. You can press these two buttons and then uh, it would load the, the bootloader or the SRAM tool. But they, uh, they also mentioned that you can hit down or uh, put 6 and 7 down because this didn't work on the new control. So I tried 6 and 7 and it worked. So we'll do that. So I hit the on button while holding down 6 and 7. I haven't let go of 6 and 7. You can see that it's starting to load. And that's going to load what it's calling OS start. Then it loads this. This is a little wonky because you don't actually have a touch screen. So I'm going to walk you through it. So that guy focuses. So you can key over with the keys. You can kind of go through this little menu. You can choose what you're backing up. So we want to pull the Efron file out. You can choose to do a backup or restore of the SRAM. So today we want to do a backup. The way that you do that, because you can't click on backup, you hit this Alt button. If you notice, that B has a line under it, like a window shortcut. You hit B. So I'm going to hit B right here. B for backup, and it says, hey, do you want to do that? And it's already selected the yes button, so I'm just going to hit input or enter. And voila, it starts to write the backup. So that's doing it into my, my card here. And the only other thing, if you haven't seen my other video, is that this card goes in only one way. There's a way that will stop and it will be hard to press in. That's the wrong way. The other way, if you flip the card around, that's the easy way. So you want it to slide in fairly easily. If, it, if it's giving you grief and something's wrong and don't push it harder. So we'll close it. I'll hit Alt, C. And that's gonna think for a minute. I'll pause it while it's thinking so you don't have to watch it think. Then after about 60 seconds it comes up with this screen. I don't know what IPL monitor is. And backup CNC data all clear. I don't know what that means. But I usually just do N because that's what you did in the old one. So you hit zero, so key in zero, key in enter, or input. Now it's loading, it looks different, but it's loading all the normal stuff that it does on a regular old boot. So now it'll do this and it'll boot up all the way as, as normal. So the only other couple things I want to say about this is that there was a bunch of stuff in that menu that looked interesting and I don't know how to use any of it. So if you have any suggestions or tips, let everyone know in the comments. Thanks.